Welcome back once again to the channel. And now, if today is your first time of visiting the channel, uh, I recommend you subscribe to the channel. And if you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. And please like the video and then subscribe for any updates okay so this is what you are going to draw for beginners in autocad so just pay attention and then we go through it so now let's analyze everything now if you look at this outer circle here it's a radius of having a radius of 22 millimeters the same over here okay and there's a cut in this uh, slot so let's start from this side and then see what we can do so I'll pick a circle and the radius we are getting 22 for the outer one okay and then the inner one is 10 okay so pick center radius again 10 all right so now this the distance between the two is uh, 28 so copy this CO press enter then just drag 28 okay that is it and then this circle 13 so let's draw a circle with radius 13 okay now we have to add a line to the quadrant so pick a line from here to here and then line again from this side to this side now you have to do some trimming here so you can use the shortcut tr and trim i delete this good all right so let's continue now you can see the there's a kind of a line here this place is bigger than this side so we are going to draw a line over here and the distance in between them is 14. we so just pick a line and draw a straight line here now select the line and move it 14 okay so m for shortcut move click anywhere drag it to the right enter 14 that is it okay so we have to add a line from here to meet the line so pick line from the quadrant again if you like you can mirror good and now from here we need to add another line to meet this line okay so line again on this place and mirror if you want just yes, select no okay so we need to trim this side this side this side and this side even here now there's a fillet radius 2.5 so let's do that so let's fill it click radius 2.5 now select this line and this line press enter to repeat this line this line all right so we are done with one aspect we are done with this place now let's continue you can see this radius is 32 okay so pick center radius then from here that is this place 32 and press enter good now you can see there's a line attached so you just pick line press and hold shift T right click on your mouse select tangent from here and then the same thing press and hold shift key right click and then tangent to this one good now I'll mirror select and then I'll use the shortcut MI press enter then I'll mirror okay okay so i'll trim here trim here then i'll delete this one okay so we are proceeding now we have to come to this section now the distance from here to this place is 108 so i'll just use a line pick line from this face 108 good so I'm going to draw a circle with diameter 25 and 51. So pick 
10 diameter 25 and 51 okay now from here uh, you can see this design over here it's inclined at an angle of 30 okay so and the distance the distance is 57 so I'll pick a line command then from here I just draw a line and then the angle let's specify the angle now press shift key and use the less than symbol and then enter 30 now it has given us the angle remaining the length of the line which is 57 so enter 57 and you press enter now looking at it the distance from this line to this place is 13 right so select let's offset 13 good and then the next one is 5 so offset again enter 5 all right that is it now we need to draw this uh, circle with radio arc with radius 9.5 so pick center radius and it's supposed to be here the first line 9.5 and you press enter good now we need to add a line we need to add a line to this side so what you do for, to make the work simple select line and from the end point of this just bring it to the center now select this line and then copy C O for shortcuts copy move it to the left and to the right okay in a straight line okay now we need to extend this line so EX for extend let's trim trim this part even here sorry before that let's extend this line all right and you can trim so let's trim and delete this line good so now you can see we can delete this one as well or we can leave it so now you can see we are let's trim this and delete this one all right so we are almost going through so now we have to draw this arc which is uh, radius 89 so come to circle select tan tan radius click the outer part and the outer part of this enter 89 and let's trim trim this part and trim this side good now if you watch there's another arc over here radius of 38 so i'll draw a circle with radius 38 enter 38 all right and then from there you can see there is a an arc radius 13 so circle tan tan radius click here click here enter 13 let's trim okay, let me trim this one as well good so you can see we have one side done now let's trim this part so trim you have to trim this circle here all right now one more thing to do see this side there's an arc here radius 75 so turn turn radius click here and then uh, click here and it's 75 so 75 now let's trim And trim this and this good we have it all right so what we are going to do is you are going to mirror this side down we are going to mirror this side and you get the same thing so select everything so before that let's this side is it has a fillet uh, a radius of 1.5 around all the corners so fillet 
radius 1.5 select this and this press enter select this and this good now let's select everything here including this and mirror it sorry mirror erase source of your just click no and we can do further trimming this one this one this one you see we can even we have to trim this side as well this and this so if you watch our work is nice and neatly done whatever is expected of us is is done okay so now we need to dimension our work and then we, we, we proceed now I want to make the work a little bit thicker so just go to the line width and then changes from there just click on the line width if you're not seeing it just go to the customization bar here and then look for line width see mine is checked and then you just click on it if you want to select the line the thickness of the line right click and then go to line width settings I have set mine to 0 0.3 and you set yours to whichever uh, measurement you want and then close it okay so now I'm going to give my work uh, dimensions so to do that let's go to layer properties I'll create a layer for that then new layer I just give it a name and then change the color as well let me see I'll give it yellow yeah that'll be fine and then the line width I'll change it to 0 0.25 if not it's going to pick the default thickness which i don't want so let me change this line width as well to 0 0.25 all right then also to a center line i think i don't have a center line so i'll load let's see yeah I'll pick this one then select this and this and use change it to center line I can even give it a color a different color if I want so let me use this one all right so let me dimension so for the dimensioning just go to your notation select radius and then make sure your dimension layer is active now select this one 22 again this one 10 10 all right where well, it is fancy so let me just try and okay position it well all right then again this side 13 this side is a uh, 32 I guess yeah and then uh, radius again for this side which is 75 this side and then now I would like to let's deal with the linear measurement okay all right this one also as well this radius Okay, so this this radius let's try and uh, give it some measurements this one which is 2.5 okay yeah and then let's pick linear pick linear now from here to this point 28 shown here okay and then linear once more from uh, this point to this point is showing 14 as shown is that right now I think everything here is done so pick radius and dimension this one as well all right so it's done here already good now let's come to this part of the work if you watch the center to center distance 108 so pick linear from here to this point 108 
um, let's deal with this diameters so diameter for this one 51 diameter for this one is 25 okay and then let's deal with uh, the radius here so radius 13 and then radius here 1.5 yeah and then basically if you check the radius here let's deal with this one 9.5 and this one as well radius this is a 89 yeah and I think everything is done so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have anything question okay so there's one distance here we need to the distance here so for that one let's try and use a line to see if it will work okay so if it wouldn't work I would recommend you draw a line just draw a line at the same 57 good and then let's move the line let's move from here to this side good and then you can dimension so align dimension from here to here oh sorry uh, from here it's 57 yeah then you can delete this line if you want good so that is it if you have any question please leave it in the comment section and then I'll, I'll answer the questions so let's make try and make the dimension figures a bit bigger so just press D on your keyboard modify and then arrows just change you to 3 text change it to three yeah and yes okay good now you see the bits bigger and nice thank you all for watching and see you in my next tutorial